so the first question is which student was our earliest registration we're going to output their name and the registration date uh, now when we say which student was our earliest registration well we want to output students name meaning output information about the student themselves but we need to know which one it is so we also have to figure out which is the earliest registration so which query do we do well we've got select ack first well let's get out a select star from account first because I like my IntelliSense to help me out you know ack first plus space plus ack last as ack full name alright so we've got uh, that first column we've got act registration date and then you're kinda like okay well um, you know what do I do with our earliest registration well earliest registration now we're not asking you to output the earliest registration but you're you know sometimes gonna go alright well let's figure out what the minimum act registration date is and if you run it like that you'll find that it definitely does not work and you get that um, error that we've uh, just encountered one time before but we'll encounter several times it says that this column is invalid in the select list because it's not either an aggregate or the group by clause okay now it's got to be either in the aggregate or in a group by clause or later you'll see that you can use it in a having clause um, so if I grab this here and I go okay well I don't know what to do with it and so far I know that I can get my minimum out there oops let me control X not shift X that we say where uh, maybe we say where the uh, ACK registration date is equal to that min registration date. it's funny that SQL here in SQL Server Management Studio says yeah you can use that that's cool but when you try to run it you get the next error it says an aggregate may not appear in the where clause so what do you do well you want to make sure that the registration date that we're looking at is is the lowest registration date but you can't use this directly in the where clause how do you use it well you wrap it in another select you go select min act registration and then because this query inside the brackets is going to be sort of in its own zone we have to tell it again to grab it from the account table so we say min registration from account now let's look at it from another direction all right so that min registration date 2016 or 120 blah 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 um, if we had tried to type in that date manually 2016 01 2017 2019 da 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 right I think that's what it equals out to anyway yeah that's pretty close anyway um, so if we put in that date manually that would be um, somewhat okay so maybe if I did that I'd be okay because I've got all zeros after that but as soon as we miss those seconds it no longer works right oh I got to take out that last bit there if I do that notice I, that I have to get it right down to the second and I'm sometimes going to be wrong so in order to avoid having to do that what we do is we just get this uh, in here so really what this is is just a separate query that on its own gives you that minimum registration date and that number because you've only got one row and one column of data gets substituted in where you put it in as a subquery so when I put it in here in those brackets um, it just replaces putting in the value manually and now you're not hard coding any values you're simply using uh, SQL to adjust now when you add different data and you have uh, you know in this case this is not the best example you know your minimum registration date isn't going to be it but when you're looking for minimum budget or maximum budget maybe you're looking for people who registered and are still active so if you go and act active uh, equals one while well, people might deactivate from this minimum registration date for example right okay so moving on let's look at the next question and that was right here alright so our most recent registration this is one that would obviously change on a day-to-day -day basis as we have new registrations well our most re recent registration we're still going to output the same thing so we can use the same formula select whatever we want to output from whatever table we want to output it from where and then we do our comparison our registration date is what we're trying to compare for a minimum registration no we're just looking for a maximum so no difference there all it is is just that we're using max instead of min so this last person to register in our um, sample database registered on January 3rd alright so what about our which student has the lowest budget well we can grab this same lowest query and just switch it up a little bit we can go which student has the lowest budget we're gonna output their proper name and a budget alright 
a proper name, I try to throw that one in there just because I want to do something a little different. Act last. And we do plus, comma, plus act first as act proper name. We call that a proper name when we put the person's last name and then their first name. Um, some cultures do that automatically. Uh, we usually say first name, last name. So when we say proper name, if ever you see that, that's what it means. It's just a little point of interest for you. I'm going to put that on multiple lines this time. And we're also going to output their budget. All right. Now what we're looking for now is lowest budget. So let's do this from this point. We're checking ACK budget is equal to, and then whatever your lowest budget is, right? So to get that lowest budget, we, we can kind of, you know, put in a number here and that's not going to give us anything. So what do we do? Well, in place of that number, we're going to put that query to find out what the lowest budget is. So select min ACK budget from count. Okay, now this, make sure to mention the table, the, the let's say the from clause in your subquery as well. Okay, because that's something that I've noticed. A lot of people tend to just try to go, you know, select min budget, and then you notice we get this funny error here where it says, you know, it may not appear in the where clause, da 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 da, because it has to be in a subquery says unless it's in a subquery, and this isn't really considered a subquery until you add in the from clause, All right? So now it should work just fine, right? All right, and you can see the proper name, last name, comma, first name. We just did things a little differently here.